To explain the inner workings of Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus as clearly as possible, I will first cover some basic terms, such as disk domain, storage pool, hot spare capacity, and LUN. A disk domain is a physical storage space consisting of multiple disks. Some space of a disk domain is used to create storage pools, and other space is used as hot spare space. In a storage pool, multiple LUNs can be created. After being mapped to hosts, the LUNs are ready for data access. Now I'll describe the underlying virtualization used to implement Huawei RAID 2.0 Plus. A disk domain contains one or multiple types of SSDs, SAS disks, and NLSAS disks. A storage system can accommodate multiple disk domains over which fault isolation is implemented. Specifically, a fault in one disk domain will not impact the work of other disk domains. Disk space in a disk domain is divided into 64 megabyte physical spaces using block virtualization. Each physical space is called a chunk, abbreviated as CK. In a disk domain, users can create storage pools. A storage pool consists of multiple CKs from different disks in the disk domain. Users can create multiple storage pools in each disk domain. Each storage pool can contain CKs from one or multiple disk types. In a storage pool, CKs of the same type can form a chunk group, or CKG, according to a RAID policy. Users can choose an appropriate RAID policy for a CKG according to the network's service requirements. In a storage pool, a CKG is divided into multiple extents. An extent is a logical space smaller than a CK. The size of an extent is not fixed and can be adjusted. The default size is 4 megabytes. An extent is the basic unit for space allocation, space reclamation, data statistics, and data migration. In a storage pool, users can create multiple LUNs. Each LUN consists of multiple extents. The extents of one LUN can be of the same type or of different types. Users can adjust the capacity of a LUN dynamically according to the network's service requirements. For example, if the initial allocated capacity of a LUN does not meet the service requirements, users can apply for new extents to expand the LUN capacity. 